In today's video, we're going to be comparing $60 Amazon fog lights versus $300 Diodynamic SS3 Pros. Let's get right into the video. Let me start off by saying I know these two fog lights are not even close to being in the same league, but I always get the question, Ang, what's the difference between your $300 fog lights and my $60 fog lights? That's what we're trying to find out in today's video. Starting off with the dial dynamics, you have sport, you have pro, and then you have max. These ones that I'm using in today's video are the pros versus the Z off-road. From what I can see on their Amazon store, you can only get these blacked out. I believe some companies even offer them in Chrome. Blacked out just seems to be more common than getting in in Chrome. Starting with the unboxing, you'll see why these are so different in cost. Starting off with the dial dynamics, these fog lights came very well packaged. The box itself was very, very nice. The hardware inside is high quality. Overall, it was a very, very pleasant experience. I give it five stars. Versus the Amazon fog lights. Now, small box, a little bit of styrofoam, fog lights, and some plastic. That's all you get. Now, is there anything wrong with it? No, but after unboxing the SS3s, it leaves you wanting more. But we are not here for packaging, we are here for performance. So with that being said, let's get into some specs. I'll put all the specs on screen now, but I wanted to go over some of them with you because they were the ones that stood out to me the most. Starting off with the Amazon fog lights. They come in a 6K white light output. That is a very white light. So for the runtime slash warranty, these are supposed to get you over five years of runtime. Now that's a very long time. Most people don't even keep their vehicles for five years secondly the waterproofing they are ip67 water rated i'm not entirely sure how waterproof that is but that's the rating for the people that want to know so let's talk about the ss3 so the ss3 give off a 3000k amber light the ss3 come with an eight year warranty eight years of warranty as far as waterproofing though the waterproofing is i believe ip69 and it is a high pressure rating Whatever that means. Now let's talk about the styling. Let's talk about the look because I think that's a pretty big factor when we're modifying our truck. Starting off with the SS3, if you want to go for a more off-roady, a more rugged look, then you have the SS3. I would like to mention that Dow Dynamic has a more affordable fog light that is a sportier look. If you're interested and want to keep more of an OEM look, I just opted for the more off-roady look because we like to mall crawl around here. As far as styling goes, these are absolutely money. I think the front looks just as cool as the back does. Everything about this is a piece of art. Whenever you start to not be able to talk you know you're holding something great. Moving on to the Amazon fog light. This is just an OEM fog light. It is blacked out all inside. It looks very nice. It gets the job done if you're trying to black out your truck. Now that, almost took an eyeball out. Now that I got these two in my hands, let's talk about the build quality. Immediately, this feels like a big block of metal. This feels like a ball of plastic. This wouldn't be a better time for the famous saying of, you get what you pay for. These are built to last. I don't know the material that they use. You can tell you're touching something nice. Back here, I believe this, I believe this is some type of plastic, but uh, it, it definitely doesn't feel cheap. Everything is super, super clean. So you see this gap right here? It is the same amount of gap all the way around. Build quality on the $60 Amazon fog lights. So it's plastic. There's plastic everywhere. They aren't the worst though. The OEM ones are absolutely tragic. I had these on for around 3,000 miles and these got scratched up pretty bad. Just like little rock chips, little scuffs. It's obviously cheaper plastic. There's not much more to it. It's a very basic fog light, but uh, as far as build quality, yeah, you get what you pay for. And for the moment we've all been waiting for, let's get into the performance. So I think we should start off with a base. Now the OEM fog lights are probably what you're running and you're looking to upgrade them. As you can see, the halogens are awful. I legitimately could not believe how bad they are. Just in case you need to show this to the person who controls the bank account, show them. Show them how unsafe it is to have halogen bulbs. I did install them wrong the first time, but I went out and I installed them properly. No difference. They are still as bad. Secondly, we will do the Amazon. Now these Amazon ones, they surprised me. They're okay. Definitely if you have the halogen ones, these are a step up. They are, they're decent. Now, now, now. We get to talk about the SS3s. Wow, 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 am I spoiled. These SS3s blow both of these out of the water. I cannot even believe that I had anything other than SS3s. These are just the pros. These are not the max. Especially here in Virginia, we get a lot of rain, we get a lot of snow, we get a lot of fog, and these cut through 
everything. I definitely think there's some places where you can cut corners and save some money. Some modifications that you want to do to your truck, should you buy them OEM or you should just buy them off of Amazon. Some are really worth spending that extra money and some aren't. The fog lights, I definitely think they are. Now, which would I recommend? Obviously, you already know. Dow Dynamic SS3 Pros. They are absolutely tanks. They are beast. These are both really cool fog lights in their own right. Knowing that these are out there, I just can't tell, I just can't say go for it. I would rather you just save up if you need to and just buy these. They're, they're so much better. 